USA's fan favorite legal drama Suits came to a close after its ninth season, leaving a pretty big hole in our hearts. The show starred Gabriel Matz as the arrogant but charming lawyer Harvey Specter and Patrick J. Adams as his brilliant but fraudulent prodigy Mike Ross. Featuring as much comedy as it did drama, Suits defied all expectations to become the network's longest running series. You give me this? and I will work as hard as it takes to school those Harvard douches and become the best lawyer you have ever seen. I'm inclined to give you a shot, but what if I decide to go another way? I'd say that's fair. And sometimes I like to hang out with people who aren't that bright, you know, just to see how the other half lives. But now the show has ended. One of its stars, Meghan Markle, is a real duchess after marrying the British royalty. And all we have left are our You Just Got Lit Up mugs. However, there are plenty of TV shows like Suits that you can watch to achieve the same feelings after watching the show's actual spin-off, Pearson of course. We've curated the perfect list of shows like Suits for you to watch next, featuring other memorable USA shows, excellent legal dramas and TV series with central romances that every Suits fan will love. If you like Suits, these are the shows you should watch next. Welcome to Cinematic. This video presents the 7 shows to watch if you like suits. Before I start, I request you to subscribe to my channel, like and share my video and stay tuned for more such amazing upcoming recommendations. So the first one, white collar. You can wear whatever you want if you drive a gay auto. Yeah, that's not why you drive one. You drive one because this car is a transcendent experience. Hello, Dan. I'm Nick Holden. Ready for a test drive? Yeah. I'll get the keys. Another show from USA Network's Blue Sky Era that was set in New York. White Collar should probably be your first stop as it feels both totally similar to Suits and is anchored by another strong relationship featuring a mentor and a mentee. Next, The Good Wife and The Good Fight. If we are being honest, the legal aspects were never the best part of Suits. They provided a solid backdrop for the much stronger character-driven narratives and acted as a backbone for the show. But if you are looking for an excellent legal drama with even better characters to binge after Suits, queue up The Good Wife. Sir, do you want me to talk? Yes. I was asserting privilege. What privilege? I can't say. It's privileged. Once you've finished the show, go ahead and move on to its spin-off. The equally great drama, The Good Fight. And now next, Terriers. The bromance between Mike and Harvey was the bedrock of Suits. And if that's what interests you, FX's short-lived Terriers about two best friends and small-time amateur private eyes should be your next watch. It's a crime. The show only lasted one season. But that also means it's a quick binge. Next, Psych. Another USA series that overlapped with Suits, Psych also features a man lying about his credentials at the heart of its narrative. Who the hell are you guys? Here's the nutshell. I'm a psychic. He is a sympathetic pooper. James Rory Rodriguez's Sean Spencer is exceptionally observant and like Mike, is able to remember and recall a bizarre amount of information with incredible detail. Psych was basically Suits without Suits before Suits was Suits. It ran for eight seasons and spawned two TV movies. Next, House. You're not pregnant. Well, I told you that. But there's got to be some other reason I'm still spotting. Sure. You were pregnant. Based on your hormone levels, you've had a miscarriage. I haven't even been on a date. Right. Since it's physically impossible to have sex without someone buying you dinner. I haven't had sex. Since I split up with my husband, that was almost a year ago. Fine. Have it your way. Suits and Fox's long-running medical drama House share surprisingly similar bones. Playing the Harvey role is Dr. Gregory House, a highly intelligent man who is exceptionally good at his job and knows he's good at his job, but is not particularly sympathetic or even well-liked man because of his aggressiveness. Next, Younger. Hey, I thought you wanted to Netflix and chill tonight. You know that means sex, right? Suits' very foundation was built on a lie, 
and the show made plenty of drama from the threat of people in the office and the larger legal community finding out that Mike wasn't really a lawyer. Can I help you? Is that my bathrobe? This bathrobe belongs to a young woman named Liza, whom my roommate Josh used to date. Younger does something similar in the world of publishing. But that's not all that the two shows have in common. There is also plenty of office drama, an inter-office romance, and a slick focus on fashion. Next, Mad Men. Before you roll your eyes, hear me out. Suits and Mad Men actually share a very similar DNA. The Emmy-winning AMC drama follows a cocky and confident, exceptionally well-dressed man who works in a Manhattan office, has a well-developed relationship with a mentee, and frequently imbibes in whiskey. As a wise man once said, the only thing worse than not getting what you want is someone else getting it. There is also a beautiful redhead who is irreplaceable to the firm. Although Harvey and Dawn's occupations differ, swap and lawyer for an advertising executive, and the time periods don't line up. Both men are excellent at their jobs. I look at your life, and even if I remove myself from the picture, I see a man who is not happy. You can also argue there are similarities with Mike as well, as Don is also living a lie and waiting for his past to catch up with him. Take the deal, and you better complete these shows or else you're leaving us with no option other than suing you. We might also sue you for not subscribing, so you better do it right away, and it's non-negotiable.